Year 2025 is done, but Chinese labs are not. Tencent has just released a groundbreaking model that's changing how we think about AI text generation. Now you have probably heard about diffusion models in image generation. They are the technology behind stable diffusion, flux, where the model starts with noise and gradually refines it into a clear image. Diffusion language models or DLLMs apply this same concept to text generation and that is what Tencent has done in a style. This is not something new. We have seen it with Lada which was released few months back but Tencent has really made it productionized. In this video we are going to install this VDLM locally and I will show you how exactly it works but more importantly I will delve deeper into how exactly all this thing happens because I believe this is going to be a big deal going into next year. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So allow me to first start the installation and while it progresses I will be talking more around this model. So I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very very affordable price, you can find the link to masked compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Next up, let's install all the uh, requirements and I'm just going to clone their repo and install it from the source. The repo is already available and I will drop the link to it in video's description. This is going to take a fair bit of time. So while that happens, let's talk more around this model. So let's talk first about this VDLM. Let me play this demo and you will see the speed. Look at on the right hand side how quick the model is just in 22 seconds. Now what is happening here is that instead of generating one word at a time like traditional language models do, these diffusion LLMs predict multiple masked tokens in parallel, kind of like filling in blanks in a sentence all at once. The big promise here is speed. If you can generate multiple tokens simultaneously instead of one by one, you should be able to generate text way way faster. But here is the catch. Most diffusion language models have struggled to actually deliver these speed gains in real world deployment because of technical limitations. And we saw that in LADA model. If you go to my channel and search with LADA, then you should be able to find this model here. 10 months ago, I thought it would be a big deal. Even two months ago, they released a mini, but it was not there yet. So that is why I'm very, very excited about this new VTLM model because apparently it has solved that problem. So what exactly was the problem in simple words? Look, the issue comes down to something called as attention mechanism. Traditional autoregressive models like GPT or Claude, they use causal attention where each token can only look at tokens that come before it, not after. This creates a clean left to right flow. Most diffusion language models, on the other hand, use bidirectional attention, meaning tokens can look both forward and backward in the sequence. This breaks a crucial optimization called KV caching. KV cache is how modern inference engines like VLLM achieve blazing fast speed along with page attention. They store previously computed attention values and reuse them instead of recalculating everything. When you use bidirectional attention, you cannot reuse these cached values effectively. So you end up recalculating everything over and over again. That's what happened in LADA. This means even though diffusion models can predict multiple tokens at once, they waste so much time on respected uh, repeated calculation that, that they don't actually beat optimized, um, you know, regular LLMs. So this is where VDLM jumps in. Let me go back to the installation and I will then tell you how exactly they have solved it. And everything is installed. Let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. 
And now let's grab our model and tokenizer from Hugging Face. And the model is being downloaded. While it downloads, let's talk more around how exactly this is solving that problem which I was referring to earlier. So the groundbreaking thing is topological reordering and it's actually quite clever. So I'm at the first step. The core idea is to keep using standard causal attention. The same left to right attention that masks KV cache work while still doing parallel mask recovery like a diffusion model. Like I'm on the second step now, as you can see. So what is happening here is normally the logical order of tokens is fixed. Word 1, Word 2, Word 3 and so on. VDLM physically moves all the tokens, the known tokens to the front of the sequence, as you can see here, while it preserves their logical positioning through positional embedding, as you can see in this example. So if you know words like one, three and five, you physically arrange them at the start, then put the masked words after. Now when the model uses causal attention, the mass tokens can see all the known tokens that came before them in the physical arrangement. But the strict causal mask is still intact. This means KV cache works perfectly and you get all the efficiency benefits of standard autoregressive inference while still doing parallel generation. And that is huge. I can't really stress it enough how big that thing is. And on the other side, the model is now downloaded. Now let's test it out. Now for the inference, I'm just going to give it this um, chain of thought sort of prompt where I'm asking it to solve this problem step by step. And then I'm also going to print the time and token per second. So let's run this and you can see the speed. And there you go. The answer is lightning fast. The answer is correct. And you can see that it has taken just 23 seconds. Plus, this is a speed which is really, really good. So, you know, more than 3 to 10 times faster. If I show you the VRAM consumption, it is taking just close to 17 gig of VRAM, which is fine, I would say. Now, before I let you go very quickly, let me explain one more very interesting concept here of this dynamic sliding window. So, in my opinion, dynamic sliding window is one more innovation which they have done because it makes it truly efficient. Unlike traditional block based diffusion methods, they generate a fixed number of tokens and then wait for all of them to be finalized before moving to the next block, creating idle GPU time. VDLM uses a streaming approach. So I'm just going to go step by step. So in this approach with a sliding window, think of it like a conveyor belt. The model works on a fixed window of say 16 masked token at once. As soon as one token becomes confident enough, it's immediately committed to the output. And the window, it just slides forward to include a new masked token. And there is no stop and wait behavior. The model also uses a distance penalty that encourages token closer to already generated text to resolve first prompting natural left to right generation. This keeps the GPU constantly busy with a steady stream of work and it really makes it faster too and efficient too. And we just saw the speed improvement. So look, a lot of things are happening here. I'm very excited about it. It's uh, almost, you know, end of December here in 2025. And I thought that, you know, they are done with the models, but for this year, but no, they keep coming up and you know, the innovations are happening at the speed of light. I'm especially very happy that now uh, it seems that diffusion based language models are not just a theory. They can genuinely outperform optimized auto aggressive system in production. So this is going to be big. So please like the video and subscribe and also follow me on X if you're looking for AI updates without any hype. Thank you for all the support.